All right, I'm uh, here with uh, Sergei. We're less than uh, four months from launch, three months until our final exams. So we've got a, a lot of practical training in the spacesuits, in the Soyuz simulator behind us, going through all the uh, off nominal situations. So we can expect, well, maybe a fire today, maybe a depressurization. It and then we'll. On our instructor. Yes, it uh, depends on how tricky our instructor wants to be. Uh, so let's uh, yeah, go inside and see what uh, he's going to throw at us today and hopefully we'll make it back to Earth safely. As soon as we see any sign of fire or smoke on board Soyuz, the first thing that we do is immediately close our spacesuit helmets in order to prevent smoke inhalation. After that, we try to extinguish the fire. But the peculiar thing about Soyuz is that there are no fire extinguishers or other firefighting equipment on board. We only really have three different ways by which we can extinguish a fire. First of all, we can switch off the cabin fans and cabin ventilation in order to stop the forced convection of air inside. In weightlessness, natural convection, which relies on hot air rising and cooler air sinking, doesn't occur. And the idea is that any fire will use up the oxygen in its vicinity and quickly choke or extinguish itself without forced convection. The second thing that we can do is to switch off the electrical supply to all of the onboard systems, including the computers and the control panels, thereby eliminating the ignition source of any fire. Obviously, at some point, we'll have to restart the computers and the control panels, but hopefully that won't reignite the fire. The third and most drastic thing that we can do is to depressurize the capsule. Any fire will quickly be extinguished in the vacuum of space. Obviously we will only do this as a last resort if all our other attempts at extinguishing the fire have failed. Before we can depressurize the capsule, we will need to leak check our spacesuits in order to ensure that we ourselves can survive in the vacuum of space. After depressurizing the capsule, we will need to act quickly in order to perform an emergency descent and re-entry and return to Earth within 125 minutes. 125 minutes corresponds to approximately one and a half orbits around the Earth and should be sufficient for us to return to one of our emergency landing spots. During those 125 minutes, our body temperatures will slowly start to increase. Since the flow of oxygen to our spacesuits at 22 liters per minute is sufficient to keep us breathing, but not enough to cool our bodies. That is why it's important for us to return to Earth within 125 minutes after depressurizing the capsule in order to prevent us from dying of heat exhaustion. So, just another day at the office uh, with a fire in the uh, Soyuz spacecraft and a, an urgent descent to return to Earth. So we had to uh, depressurize to get rid of the fire, but uh, we managed and survived. So, just another day at the office.